hello viewers in today's uh, lecture we are going to take up a very important integral involving dirac delta function right so in our previous videos uh, we have solved uh, many problems related to dirac delta function so in this video we will uh, take up this problem right so here we have to integrate uh, this function from minus infinity to infinity cos of pi by 2 x delta of 6 x square minus x minus 1 dx right so here uh, we are going to uh, use a very important property of uh, Dirac delta function uh, which says that uh, if uh, uh, gx is a function of x then delta of uh, g of x is equal to uh, sigma of i and here we have uh, 1 over uh, the absolute value of uh, g prime of x i and uh, delta of x minus x i right so here uh, we'll make use of uh, this property of uh, Dirac delta function so here we have g of x and uh, if we see this integral then uh, this function this quadratic function is uh, uh, delta of g of x is delta of 6x square minus x minus 1 right so it means we have g of x is equal to 6x square minus x minus 1 so here we have the quadratic function now uh, let us see how we can uh, apply this uh, property uh, to evaluate uh, this uh, uh, integral so what we will do uh, we will first find uh, the zeros of uh, uh, this equation right so g of x equal to 0 uh, we have and uh, will find the solution of uh, this quadratic equation right so uh, let us uh, uh, find the uh, solution by splitting the middle term so we can easily solve this so we have 6x square uh, minus 3x plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so we have 3x 2x minus 1 plus 1 2x minus 1 equal to 0 so we have 3x plus 1 and 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so we have uh, 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 mm -hmm. and 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x is minus 1 over 3 and x is equal to 1 over 2 right so here uh, we have uh, solved this uh, quadratic equation and we have obtained two zeros so let us uh, take uh, these zeros as uh, x1 is equal to minus 1 over 3 and x2 is equal to 1 over uh, 2 right now viewers uh, so we have uh, completed the first step that is we have solved this equation g of x is equal to 0 so this was the first step now the second step is uh, we have to find uh, the derivative of g of x right because here we have to find uh, g prime of xi so let us find the derivative of uh, gx which is g prime of x so we have 12x uh, minus uh, 1 right and the third step is to find uh, the value of uh, this derivative at these two points right so what we have to find we have to first find g prime of x1 which is 12 x1 uh, minus 1 so we have 12 times x1 is uh, minus 1 over 3 and minus 1 so this is minus 4 minus 1 that is uh, minus 5 right then uh, we'll find uh, g prime of uh, x2 right so g prime of x2 is uh, 12 times x2 minus 1 
so we have 12 times 1 over 2 minus 1 and uh, we have 2 6 uh, so here we have 6 minus 1 that is 5 right so we have obtained uh, g prime of uh, x1 so g prime of x1 is uh, minus 5 and uh, g prime of x2 is equal to plus 5 right now uh, let us call this integral as i so i can now be written as uh, minus infinity to infinity here we have uh, cos of pi x over 2 and uh, delta of uh, g of x right okay now uh, we can use uh, this property and uh, this delta of uh, g of x can now be written as uh, since we have x1 and x2 are the uh, two zeros of uh, this uh, quadratic polynomial so delta of g of x can be written as uh, sigma of uh, i is equal to 1 to 2 and 1 over uh, the absolute value of g prime of x of i and here we have delta of x minus xi right so now uh, removing this uh, uh, summation sign and substituting the values of i that is 1 and 2 respectively here uh, we will have 1 over uh, g prime of uh, x1 delta of x minus x1 plus 1 over uh, absolute value of g prime of x2 and uh, delta of x minus x2 right so delta of g of x is equal to this expression now x1 is minus 1 over 3 and x2 is 1 over 2 so uh, we can uh, substitute these values over here so we have 1 over uh, g prime of uh, minus 1 over 3 and uh, here we have delta of x minus minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over absolute value of g prime of half and delta of x minus half right now this is 1 over uh, g prime of minus 1 over 3 is uh, minus 5 so we have uh, mod of uh, minus 5 and delta of x plus 1 over 3 and here we have 1 over uh, g prime of uh, half is 5 so we have mod of 5 and delta of x minus half and uh, mod of minus 5 is simply 5 so we have 1 over 5 delta of x plus 1 over 3 and here we have 1 over 5 and delta of x minus 1 over 2 so now we can write uh, this expression as uh, we can write it as 1 over 5 and taking 1 over 5 as common so we have delta of uh, x plus 1 over 3 plus delta of x minus half right now substituting the value of uh, delta of gx in this integral so we have uh, uh, minus infinity to infinity cos of uh, pi x over 2 and uh, here for this we have uh, uh, 1 over 5 and delta of x plus 1 over 3 plus delta of x minus half dx right now we can split uh, this integral into two integrals the first one is from minus infinity to infinity cos of uh, pi x over 2 this 1 over 5 can be taken outside this integral and we have delta of x plus 1 over 3 
dx and uh, the second integral is uh, 1 over 5 minus infinity to infinity here we have cos pi x over 2 and delta of x minus half dx right so now we have to evaluate uh, these two uh, integrals now to evaluate these two integrals we'll make use of uh, the uh, definition or the property of Dirac delta function that is uh, integral from minus infinity to infinity f of x and delta of x minus a dx is equal to f of a right so here if we compare this integral with this one then we see that this is uh, delta of x minus a and a is minus 1 over 3 and here we see that uh, this is delta of x minus half so we have delta of x minus a and this is uh, a is equal to half right and this is f of x and this is also f of x right so now applying this rule to evaluate this uh, integral we have 1 over 5 and uh, this is f of x and the value of a is minus 1 over 3 so here we have f of minus 1 over 3 right plus 1 over 5 and here f of x is cos pi x over 2 and a is half so we can write f of half right and what is uh, f of minus 1 over 3 so f of x is cos pi x over 2 so we can write here cos pi over 2 times uh, minus 1 over 3 right it means we have to evaluate this function at a is equal to minus 1 over 3 and plus uh, we have 1 over 5 and f of half is the cos of uh, pi uh, by 2 and here we have half right now this becomes 1 over 5 cos of pi over 6 and this is 1 over 5 cos pi over 4 right and here we have used the identity that is cos of minus theta is equal to cos of theta now the value of cos pi by 6 is uh, square root of 3 over 2 and the value of uh, cos pi by 4 is uh, 1 over root 2 right so we have root 3 over 10 plus uh, 1 over uh, 5 root 2 so this is uh, the value of uh, this integral right 